I put this wreath on the on this lamp post last year and it's still here all the way through Halloween and everything. But it looks so cool on there. I just don't ever want to take it off. Windex on them, and uh, some a windstorm come through and got a lot of dirt on these things, and it really sticks to them. A good way to go is just to hose it off like this. Hose off both sides like that. Now you're just gonna drop it down on some towels and go ahead and dry it off so you don't have water stains from hard water. the other side real quick. And that's about all you can do with it. And I uh, just find a place to lean them up against until you're ready to put them back in. Okay, also when you're removing and cleaning these windows, um, be really aware of which side is your front side and your top. Um, when you're cleaning them, you don't want to like flip them over to clean them. Uh, just flip them around this way every time. Because you want to keep that top side at the top because if you have to figure out which window goes into which place and whether it's upside down or right side up or backwards, it gets really confusing, especially when you pull like two or three windows at a time. As far as these plexiglass windows are concerned, I was concerned that they were not going to hold up in the heat of the sun or get scratches or, or be constantly dirty from uh, dirt blowing all over them or get fingerprints. Um, but I have to say they're working out great. I'm not having any problems. I'm not getting cracking at the, where the bolts are. And um, I clean them like once a week or once every two weeks is fine. It depends on whether you, you want them to stay clean or not. <laughs> and uh, they're not like warping or bending in the sun. And they've survived a couple rainstorms and heavy windstorms. And I haven't had any problems with them. They're working out great and they don't really have any scratches. They're, they're working out fine. you need to be careful about with these windows is if the sprinkler is misting these every day it's going to put water spots on it daily and after those water spots have been on there so long they're probably not going to come back off of this thing they really need to watch out for hard water what i did is i actually had to pull this sprinkler out and turn it into a half sprinkler this sprinkler right here I had to plug and that one and uh, another one on the other side and there's actually a sprinkler inside of the house that definitely I had to plug because that would be ridiculous for a sprinkler to go off inside of there. Another good thing to do is just have oversized holes that are larger than your actual screw just for a safety net. Obviously it can't be larger than the head though. 
when you're tightening these acrylic sheets down, try to get the entire threaded part right there all the way into the wall so that it's resting on this non-threaded part of the screw. The reason why is because this threaded part is really sharp. If it does expand and contract, that could end up split in your corner. Uh, what's best is if you have a screw that has a large area like this one of non-threaded area. Right now I'm just using these and I try to get it screwed in all the way up to about there. And also you don't want to screw it in so far that you're on the part that starts expanding either. So here's a quick view of the inside with these windows. Uh, basically all I did is just put these screws in and drill it and you have to be real careful when you're drilling it and also this wood frame is gonna change shape it's gonna shrink and it's gonna expand when it's cold and hot or humid or rainy so you really want to be careful and um, you want to make sure that you back each one of these screws up so that there's some wiggle room in there which is on purpose uh, so that the wood won't expand and crack the windows where I put the screws in. And uh, the thing about these windows that's really nice is um, it really keeps the cold air out of here and the humidity at night like when it gets foggy. I've been working on lining everything up here with uh, I feel like I need everything to be a perfect symmetry. You know, like like this box is lined up to this border, and then there's this group is sectioned together, and these two objects over here and here are kind of off by themselves, and then this is like parallel to that that wall, and uh, this guy is kind of looking straight out. Everything's presented out this way, but then these things are presented at an angle kind of coming towards the viewer I don't know why I spend so much time just like moving everything like one centimeter and then being like no and then moving it another centimeter like over and over <laughs> I'm gonna spend like hours doing that I guess it's just uh, either being a perfectionist or an artist or I don't know but you know in the end like uh, it does have to look good so symmetry is important with the display because it's sort of a work of art and uh, same with this one um, also I like you know I, I have lots of cool stuff I could put in the window but um, you know one thing I learned from uh, modern art that's really cool is uh, less is more simplicity when you pull all this extra junk out of there even though there's more to look at with if you just cram the window full of junk it really looks so much better and really in the end any display or work of art is really about um, just when you come up to it what kind of feeling do you get from it and then uh, the less you put into it uh, the more you're gonna feel like your mind's gonna be more relaxed and that's kind of the idea of removing all the clutter with the modern art so Less is more, that's what I'm going to go with. But also color coordinating everything. I've got um, all my reds over here, reds and greens. And then over here is, is more like kind of winter colors and mints and things like that. Silvers and whites and mints that go together. So probably just being too much of a perfectionist about everything. But in the end, when, when you look at it and the light's coming down, the whole point is for it to look good and for you to just go, wow, that looks awesome. And if it does that, then that's what you should achieve. Now I'm just going to drop it down on the floor. Now I'm just going to drop it down on the floor.